just heard, some women are on a mission to reel in a rich catch uh, husband. Um, but with me is the author of the book we just talked with her, The Dallas Woman's Guide to Gold Digging with Pride. J.C. Conklin's with us. And then, of course, our man panel. We've got Jared, Carson, Dave, and Judge Eric <laughs> All right, so did you get your reading in in the green room? Yes, yes we did. did. You brought up something, Whitney, and yes. you said something about, I made a comment on the radio one time, I said dating is legalized prostitution. <laughs> and I got a bunch of phone calls, women were like outraged, and I'm like, well, no, seriously, think about it. I mean, if a guy isn't willing to look the part, mm -hmm. what are the chances? Zip. Well, look the part. There's a difference between looking the part and looking like a derelict. I mean, it, it, you don't. It's not like you have to roll up with your, you know, Rolex watch and all this well, stuff. It, but if you if you roll in, you know. <laughs> but, <laughs> You're speaking to the wrong member. No, yes. I was. <laughs> Jason and I were talking in the green room, and mm -hmm. I was at uh, Grotto on Friday. Oh yes. There was a waitress, and she was hot. She was like 24 years old, beautiful, mm -hmm. right? And I'm thinking, if the roles were, I was thinking, oh, if I was single. I'd ask her out. Right. If the roles were reversed and I'm sitting there going, would you like the fries or the ice tea? She'd be like, <laughs> no, well, men, I have no chance. Men marry down, that. women marry up. Well, first of all, if you don't men, mind, no, excuse no, me. Men, wait, men, men marry ahead. height, weight, proportional. That's what men marry. <laughs> first of all, I knew that you guys, gold diggers, existed, but I thought it was in a secret world, so I commend you for writing the book and putting yourself out there like that. But it baffles me to know that you're not even married to a millionaire or a billionaire to even write a book like that. So I think that we all know that the gold diggers exist, but money can't buy you happiness, joy, peace, friendship, all of those things. I know it's a good down payment on the happiness, mm -hmm. but the overall <laughs> happiness, those things kind of wither out. If you look at the richest people in America, uh, most of them have been divorced one, two, three times. So money doesn't buy happiness. Well, no, but it, and it, it can buy therapy. Yes. <laughs> so and it can buy that's temporary happiness. Temporary yeah. happiness. But who wants to be happy temporarily? I, I don't I know. I do. I can tell yeah. I, I, yeah. I think I, and happy any time is good for me. Yeah, I, I think gold digging to me is like a derogatory term used by third parties to a relationship. Yes. Between the guy and the girl, they know it, they understand what's going on. I and mean, if Howard Marshall wants to mm -hmm. go out with that and Nicole Smith, it's not like he doesn't get it. Yeah. Of course he gets it, pardon the expression. Yeah. But that's but that's a, that, that's but that's the that's the whole that's the whole issue. Everyone uh -huh. in a relationship digs for ore. Mm -hmm. Man and woman, it's constantly digging. Both sides are digging and looking for something. It's not nothing unusual for a guy that a woman is looking for certain things. Mm -hmm. We're being auditioned. You're auditioned on a date. That's what's happening. That's really what happens I in, think in the, the dating world. But that's wants okay. To meet and sure. date someone who's successful. Mm -hmm. But when you have that hidden agenda, which you guys are kind of putting out in the open, and fellas, if you're watching. 90% of these women are gold diggers, so you have to see above all of that, man. Oh, and our female audience at home is so taking you home on that. Here's a guy, here's a guy that just shot himself in the foot. He'll never, ever have a day. See, I respect women. Ladies, I want to tell you, I totally respect you. I understand where you're coming from. It's okay. It's all right. Because in every relationship, a woman oh, yeah. has a right to ask for and receive what she wants out of that relationship. Right. If that's mm -hmm. what she wants, she has that right. right. She has a right to look for the kind of guy that will satisfy her and her needs and whatever, just like a guy has that same well, exact right. right. that a woman is a queen, first of all. But you guys have to understand that when you're dating, you have to have some mutual type of agreement. You cannot keep chasing after dollars. Dollars doesn't bring happiness. And when you're doing that gold digging, you're digging for the wrong thing. You, you know, should be digging for someone with a spiritual connection, someone that's a friend. That thing, money, it doesn't bring happiness at the end of the oh, day. So much more challenge than that. Wait a minute. I get 50 more dates to your one. So Ooh, you can have a date. That's ridiculous. I'm we can book. challenge it. So you see, know, wait, 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 when you, you see, I, I, I dated a girl one time, uh -huh. and you're talking one about time. buying happiness. I'm bringing, <laughs> I'm bringing I one girl. Night. I'm bringing <laughs> one girl that I dated. See, I'm being respectful of the ladies. Hey. So, this one girl that I dated, you know, she was cranky, and I thought, well, let me, you know, I'll go to North Beach Leather and I'll buy you a vest. And uh -huh. Ten minutes later, she's cranky again. I go, what's wrong? Do you need the pants too? And she's like, yeah. And yeah. that was it. You know, it didn't buy her happiness. Mm -hmm. You know, 
But he did get her a vest and pants and shoes. What did he get you at the end of the day? Well, later on, we'll talk, I'll tell you. Yeah, yeah, wait, wait. Carson, Carson, weigh in on this, young man. I think women putting in all this effort to land a guy, it sounds like pretty nice, you know? Like, I don't know, I think I would want to be pursued like that. To have a woman, like, so interested, whether it's for money or for another reason, you know, to, like, do all this background research and, you know, to try to figure out what my buttons are and, and how to uh, push them, like, that, that doesn't really sound that bad to me, you know? What's your like, ATM buttons are? But, uh, well, okay. I don't really, you know. Most guys are shallow. Okay, so, uh, so, I mean, the point is, uh, we get it. But, I mean, we understand that, way. but we're we, not going to marry. You, it, it doesn't translate to the next level of the relationship. Mm -hmm. It's just a connection. You get connected, you get hooked up, and something will happen to but, that. But well, tell men are, me, tell men me. are shallow for like looks and things like that, mm -hmm, and exactly. women are, you know, shallow for security, and right. that can mean money. Because know? I was going to ask, what, where is the spiritual connection when you see a man who's a, a short little man, dumpy, balding, mm -hmm. with a woman who's five eight, skinny, yeah. deep cut like, breasts? What is beautiful. Beautiful. Well, deal, well, it's, yeah, where, where, where did that spiritual? Because I'm <laughs> yeah. not seeing that. Mm -hmm. I think that <laughs> once again <laughs> is the the rich guy can have that beautiful. Beautiful lady. At the end of the day, money talks, and I totally mm -hmm. agree. But mm -hmm. I don't think that you should be putting it out in the public eye like that. I think you guys should keep your hidden secret. We all know. <laughs> we all know. Yeah, secret society okay. basically is what it is. But you're mm -hmm. highlighting it, so I mean, I tip my hat off to you for going out on that limb, man. Right. A million dollar baby right there. Guys. <laughs> she is pregnant. She knows what she's doing. It's like a kid. <laughs> Um, I say spiritual, maybe they worship at the House of Hermes. So stick with us, though. When we come back, we're going to talk more about this. Actually, I have a great anecdote I want to ask you about. It's about okay. when someone introduces you. How do you want to be introduced? So we're going to talk about that when we come back. Can you, can you point out? Yes, let's. Let's discuss. Yeah. Let's discuss. Are you being hit by the bling that is coming off of Jared's arm? I mean, we, yeah. we're talking about a metal detector. It would be going off right now. If you don't want to attract it, it's like shiny things, shiny things. Are you just saying gold diggers come the, here? As I'm far here. as the ice, that type of thing, I think diamonds are a girl's best friend as well as a man's best friend. But for me, I actually toned it down a little bit this oh. evening. No earring. I don't have <laughs> no an earring. No pinky ring or anything like that. You know, so. But the man, manicured. Uh, did you say, manicured for him. Did you say pinky I mean, ring I, I think you should take care of your body ring. from the head to the toe. A man should get manicures and pedicures. I mean, your body is the temple. You're I mean. more well groomed than I am, I must admit. Um, <laughs> but, okay, I want to file down on this one. Okay, this weekend. Um, a woman came up to me, I'm sitting in a restaurant, and I'm with four other uh, women, and a woman comes up to me, she says, oh, I love your show, Great Day Houston. No, granted, I'm in Austin, which was really quite flattering, so, you know, I was talking to her, and she says, oh, I really want to introduce you to my friends. Could you please come over and meet my friends? One of them just sold his company for $500 million. <laughs> and I literally looked at her, and I thought, I, I was already sort of standing up, because, you know, I said hello, so she says, come on. So I thought, what you know, what kind of introduction is that? Not come meet my I'd guy a friends. <laughs> a uh, but, good one for you. But and for, for me, that's depend, for depending on what I want. But man, play that game. Men so what did you? What do? did the men say? Oh, she's got a double D. She wears no. a double D. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. That what did you do in that situation? <laughs> What did you do? I, I didn't walk over and say, which one of you five men is the one that just sold your company for $500 million? But she, by the way, told me that three other times during the night when I ran into her at three other bars. Didn't you meet my friend? And then she also, by the way, mentioned that her other friend used to be the quarterback for University of Texas some 30 years ago. <laughs> so, you know, he was a big quarterback. Bundy, so I'm like, yeah. Is okay. it about the dollars or is it about, like, this is something huge that this guy just accomplished and, you know. He, that was about, you don't, you say you just sold his company and they're out celebrating. Million. But you don't give a dollar amount. 500 okay. million dollars. <laughs> at the end of the day, it's all about the dollar. Period. No matter how we package it up, package it up. Excuse me, and try to sell it. It's about the dollars. Period. I don't think that's true that much anymore. I think like maybe back in the day that was a lot more true. But now, like mm -hmm. women have their own careers and jobs, and they can provide for themselves. You know, like, everybody wants to date an independent woman. I mean, that's Beyonce mm -hmm. Stone. You know, the independent women. But I don't think that's true. When you have independent women who are being converted into gold diggers, then mm -hmm. I question that. I really do. I don't think it's a conversion. I just think you, you have some that are. Around it out passage, there in some rite of passage. Listen, it, in the animal kingdom, you know, it's Growing it's up. it's the, the female that wants the the male species that's gonna protect the the cubs and provide and all this other stuff, and it's the male that goes out and provides and hunts. That's the animal kingdom. 
It's a it's lion's a own diminished role and it's, now, you know? Well, like, we, you know, as much as we, we try hope. and change ourselves, <laughs> we're still animals. I mean, it's all about pheromones and stuff like that. It's how we're hit by a woman. And you mm -hmm. look marvelous, by the way. But anyhow, <laughs> it's how we're that hit works, by the pheromones works. and stuff, you know? And, and as much as we want to, you know, be cerebral about this and say, mm -hmm. well, this woman's... That's what the female species is always about, and that's what the male species is always about. That's it. But did, you know, you researched a little for the. I mean, you've had to do. You I know. did, yeah. And and what did you find that these women? I mean, I remember reading a line in here that these women were really happy because they just wanted their Birkin bag and their you know to walk in Chanel and their driving coat and all these. They that's what they want. They don't want love. Maybe they're on their right. second marriage. Right. Third or, marriage. Fourth, right. Fifth, or, or maybe they just they they know that this is the only way they're going to get any of these things. And a lot of it too, when you speak to them, they're like. Okay. How does the guy feel about it? I would think that if you're able to provide this lifestyle for this woman that you, you know, may or may not love, I mean, that's like a cool, you know, your provider. Yeah. Like, that must be a good feeling, you know? Like, are these guys opposed to, you know, this? Or are they no, play, think, are a willing partner? No, I think they know eyes, what they're getting. Their eyes are wide open. Why do we work? I mean, a single guy, why would it work? Well, you work to, to buy some nice clothes, nice car. Mm -hmm. That's all the fly trap. Right. I mean, that's, it's, the whole world centers around centers around this game that we play, yeah. this man and woman game. I, so I don't, I don't get I don't really get it. If you will get taken. For instance, Paul McCarthy. No prenup. She's mm -hmm. walking away with well, 500, 600 no million <laughs> dollars. Yeah, I mean, it's, he was stupid. But, no, but here's the thing. I said if you're naive, and right. that's the whole yeah. thing. A lot of yeah, guys are just has, so naive like, and don't see yet yeah, another couple billion. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. But, but if no, you were to read JC's book, you'll find out how to get that prenup torn up. Yep. Uh -oh. mm -hmm. Wow. That's yeah. a good thing. <laughs> judge. Hold on. We have a judge on the panel. Let me yes, know. judge. There you go. You don't want that. This is most guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, yes. We oh, know, right. we know right. the deal here. I mean, mm -hmm. sure, you're gonna get every once in a while you'll go over the edge, but the guy doesn't do it unwillingly. No, he the knows. guy goes over. He knows what he goes he over knows the edge what's smile happening on his face. here. It's, it's yes. kind of like okay, so two people hook up. One's got a lot of money. One's got a lot of looks or whatever, and they marry or they do whatever they want. But marry. also, you know, having a, a woman that you're providing for is sort of a status symbol with a mm -hmm. lot of well-off men. I right. mean, it's kind of like, oh yeah, she goes to the club. Yep, she's getting a manicure every day. I'm spending thousands of dollars a week on this woman. It's a status symbol. Right, it's like having their bends, except it's a woman on their exactly. arm. Exactly. Right. And you know, every so often you trade up. What about that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. We do. Well, well and who you are just saying. No. Yeah. I'm just saying. Man, listen to Carlson, man. We're all falling to this, man. But doesn't the woman okay, know that? Right. Sad conversation, you know. Doesn't the woman know that, though? The woman knows going into that right. game that she's going to be, she could be traded in. Oh, that's why she does that's not She knows that, right? See, as yeah. long as the guy has money, he doesn't have to worry about being traded in. When he runs out of money, whoops. See, that's, right. that's, that's the problem. Now that's she's not gone. the type of person you want to be associated with. You were just talking about that? that's what it comes down to. It's all about money, but who wants that woman who's not going to be by side when he has $500 million or $5? I mean, that's that person. So if 90% of the you, women I mean, are gold diggers and you say that you need to be that you want to be with somebody who matters, so I guess you're not dating much. I'm dating. I'm dating. Mentally, but, but I, I'm very selective. I'm very and he's selective, Baptist very lady, picky. so there you go. Yeah. So wait, wait, All right. How do you figure out who's up your diamonds and who's not? Because you're you're broadcasting that. Well, first of all, I really want like he's ready to settle down, you know? Like I'm not really sure if he's not concerned about My, this right now. <laughs> People are watching. How can you say that, man? <laughs> Don't say that. I am ready to settle down. Ladies that were dating are ready to settle down. But, but I am very selective. I mean, I'm not gonna take you out on the first date like he said and buy you leather and Gucci and all of that on the first date. I mean, we're gonna go to dinner, lunch. Not, not even a second date. Maybe the third date. We'll go in the mall, you know, look at the little, little window shopping, maybe, you know. Uh, on a Sunday. Right, on when a it's Sunday. Closed. <laughs> where, where would you go to dinner? On a first date, where would you take? Yeah. It? Morton Steakhouse. That's right. usually my, and I mean, that's, you know, roughly $200 once we finish eating. Right. But I'm able to get inside of your head. I want to make love to your brain. Well, first. I'm not that kind of guy. <laughs> oh. right. No, first. And here's, then. Yeah, but see, here's what I do I, mm -hmm. on a date, first date, all right? We roll up to the restaurant, usually uh, McDonald's, Jack and the Box. Oh, come on. And, uh, That's how you know a lady's not there for right. the money, is that what you're right. saying? We sit in the car. Or the food. Right? She's there for the, the calories. Down, yeah. Yeah. That's how I roll. I got power windows. <laughs> <laughs> and I say, uh, Number two for the lady, which I can supersize with that, you know. And that's how, that's how, I, if she says mm -hmm. yes to the supersize, well, I know she's a gold she's digger. She's a gold digger. That's right. <laughs> that's your 99 cents. It is. 
We the all place, have tails. She's They're after tails. me for my money at that point. <laughs> Did you just tell your guys company? fear though that you know one day you'll be broke and mm -hmm. your lady, you know, not only will your money leave you, but your lady's gonna leave you too. And you know, you But your book won't ever leave you. <laughs> <laughs> so and that's where we're gonna have to end it. I wanna thank you all for being here and being really honest and goofy at the same time. And of course, JC's book, you can find Amazon.com. And our audience is going home with a book, so you can study up, ladies. Study up. Now a story worth your time. An early holiday gift for some HISD students. The gift of learning. Jarrett Lofton of Lofton Realty rolled in presents for kids at J. Will Jones Elementary. The students got new notebooks and backpacks, pens and school supplies, all for a mid-semester refill. Lots of smiles all around. Lofton held a back-to-school fundraising party last Friday. Partygoers brought thousands of dollars worth of school supplies, all for J. Will Jones students. Lofton says education is the key to success, and he hopes to do this again with a fundraiser again next year. And I think the kids would certainly appreciate that. Hi, I'm Jared Lofton from Keller Williams Realty, and I've created a simple three-step process to selling or buying your home. First, call and set up a free consultation to determine your needs and goals. Next, every real estate transaction is built on solid market analysis. Finally, finding a perfect home and negotiating on your behalf the best deal. Call Jared, 281-773-7904. Call Zeus Mortgage for a free instant decision on your home loan. Come on in, our male, male panel that has been watching yeah. us back. Good looking man. Single men, Jared, Michael, and Daryl. Thank you guys for joining us. Okay, it's okay. We're not gonna. We're not. We're, we're cool. We're calm. We are calm. Yeah, man. We have it together. So you, you all been listening to these ladies and yes. our conversation. Yes, we have. What, what, oh what's your first take on it? What's your first take on it? Well, first, I, I think that. Uh, just in my experience, most women do look for guys who are financially successful. So I heard you guys mention that uh, finances or income isn't important. As you know that finances is the number one cause of failure in marriages. So mm -hmm. I think that is something that all women do consider when they're looking to date a guy. So I think we have to be honest about that mm -hmm. first and then we can kind of get over that hump and go into the next stage. Let me just throw one thing there. It's, it's not I think the, looking at yeah. finances a different way. When you say you're not looking at finances, uh -huh. you need to consider it. Because finance and dating is very yeah, and important. Let's, let's because if you look at it, the average date around here, you're gonna spend about 100 to 150 dollars. <laughs> and, and, and as far as gas prices, we got You know, but, but let's, let's, let's put finances. Let's, let's carefully put Ladies, finances. Ladies, his name is Daryl. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Put his number on the screen. Mm -hmm. uh, let's let's carefully look at finances in 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 the right perspective because it's not really the finances that cause the breakups. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Those just exist exacerbate problems that are already there yeah. so it's really not the it's not really because you can have a lot of money and there's mm -hmm. not a personality match right. you can have a lot of money and people can be with you for pragmatic no reasons mm -hmm. but that doesn't that a, a good relationship has to have romance it has to have friendship and has to have a self-sacrificing quality mm -hmm. research shows that over and over and, and just common sense shows that over but and I mean, over like understandably so, but just think about it if if this lady says she loves to travel exotic mm -hmm. islands i heard one say that mm -hmm. now if i join them I gotta have the finance to join. Absolutely. And if I don't have the finance, that means they don't get to do what they're normally doing. But so then that becomes an issue. Finance is an issue. But she wants, you know, it's yeah. an issue. I'm, I'm saying it's not the sole issue because she wants to do that with the right person, which is why she turned down three guys and she turned 14 mm -hmm. down. Right. Was it 14? Right. 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 The right person has to have the money. Yeah, but I mean, there's some planning that goes on. Right. In a rela if, if you're in that relationship, if you're dating even and say, well, we're gonna go somewhere, and, and then that's a planning situation. Mm -hmm. If it takes a little longer because our finances aren't at the same level and you want to do it for me, then if, if we have the chemistry, then there's some willingness to compromise. And when I say finances, I mean that a guy who makes $30,000 has the same chance that a guy who makes $150,000. That's, yeah. no, that's that no, it's absolutely, yeah, no, and our audience is even like, no way. No. Well, see, the, the $30,000 isn't gonna cut nice it. I mean, that, that's but see, that's the thing, that's you guys are looking work. at the wrong thing. You're thinking yeah. about the material. I have a house, I have a car, I have money in the bank, okay? so. And I don't go throwing that out there like, oh, I have all this, but it's like, 
I'm not looking for a man who's gonna come and save me. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a date with a nice guy who's mm -hmm. smart, who's partner. funny, who could grow into something more. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick to uh -oh. that because that's what I do. Uh -oh. Who could grow into yeah. something? Oh, oh, snap! Okay. I, 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 if I meet a nice guy, yeah. Now, now you're talking about the remodeling project, right? Yeah. Yeah. Where, she, where, where you know, oh, I see his potential, yeah. and no, now I want to mold I, him into I'm sorry, what he ought don't to be. Do potential. I'm not trying to be funny. But, I do not know. But that, that's a very yeah. sticky point see, with these guys. But, I think you have to do potential because mm -hmm. I feel that, for instance, with me, I just got my MBA maybe a year ago. So most people in the world, they don't feel like I'm already successful. They don't understand I've been in school mm -hmm. for 26 years. I'm just starting my business. So I feel like I have the most potential of any 27-year-old man towards, I know. You're actively working towards your goal, Definitely. You? I don't have to wake you up every morning and say, are you going to work? Are you going to school? <laughs> that's, what, and that's, that's what I mean. I'm, I'm not trying to be right, funny, right, but right. that's what I mean. By, I don't, like but that's, that's what I mean. Obviously, and that's what I mean. No, that's what I mean by I don't do potential. Like I can't motivate you. That's one of the issues that men have is that you bring your baggage you had with someone else into this situation. If you were in bed with somebody, you had to wake up and say you got to go to work. You already made the wrong decision. You are already dealing with someone who is not goal oriented, but you're telling me I want to At 31, I can say those are mistakes that I've made in the past. So now going forward, I know what I want, and I don't think there's anything wrong with me saying I don't do potential. So this guy mm -hmm. says, I'm, I'm trying, I'm working towards his goal. Great, because he I, gets up every day. He does what he's supposed to. But as far as me saying, what do you want to do with your life? Did you think about yeah. this? Did you look in the paper? I yeah. don't want to do that. Well, no. We're all at different stages in our dating yeah. relationship. Yeah, because yeah. I've already been married and, you know, I've already, you know, I'm already a mature person. Mm -hmm. And I'm not looking for somebody with potential. I think um, it's somebody that's already established. I'm so glad so, you brought right. that out because yeah. all of this stages. also has to do with stages of life, right. where you are Absolutely. in the lifespan, what you've already been through. You don't. Nobody wants to go back and write the same book over again right. in their right. lives. Right. And and in your in your life, you, you, want you want to move forward. So so that's a very <laughs> mm -hmm. critical point, and that's another thing that 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 creates problems in relationships is that people have sort of static understandings, little snapshots of what things are supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Things are very from, different for me now than they were 10 years ago. You know, when I got married, now that I've been married 10 years, you know, 11 years, honey, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, you're uh, in trouble. Right. Yeah. Uh, you know, if I were on the market, I would look at things totally differently. Mm -hmm. And and so again, is is I think when you've Stage been married. Life. Yeah, right. absolutely. Mm -hmm. the life I, think, I think that I am on the market and I know that when I'm looking for that special woman, she definitely first have to be spiritual. And mm -hmm. if you have that spiritual uh, element, that's very mm -hmm. important. And you want that person to be the best spiritually, uh, physically, mm -hmm. mentally, emotionally, emotionally. Yes. and Absolutely. financially. Yes. But, so, but, but I want to just jump in here because I read all of your sort of bios and Michael just says he really is ready to get married and he yeah. just can't find the right girl. Well, That's right. well why is that? Because there, there seems like to be. No, I'm <laughs> not ready to get married. That's <laughs> not me. Sorry. Dang, but right? a lot of women are. And that's interesting if you can't find a woman to marry you. Yeah, because I well, feel like they're just running all over. It's no, I'm just saying, it's like most women want to get married. That's and, true. You know. It is on the first date. Like, oh! <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Well, it's similar. You want to take advantage of that 14 you was talking yeah. about. Yeah, I, I was going to say, that was a point I was going to bring up. I can relate. I can relate to what you're saying about the 14 dates. But then again, you have to give that person a chance. If you're going out on 14 dates, mm -hmm. you maybe you want to try it and go out another time right. with that person to see what you like. And also, I love dancing too. So if you have five Sounds opportunities like to go out, you know, yeah. hey, maybe, maybe if you just look for someone to go oh, dancing dancer. with, you know, oh, that's a good dancer. thing. I, I, see, I think too, you know what, if you're going on 14 dates too, this is the problem I have that I think that if you have a strong personality, you know exactly what you want. Mm -hmm. So do we have to compromise? Do we have to say, well, yeah. maybe he's not this, but I'll go on another date? But you yes. know what, I don't know well, I know exactly what I want, but mm -hmm. I know exactly what I don't Thank want. Thank you. Oh, see, that's a see, And that's yeah. wrong for me. Yeah. You know, because yeah. you're always yes. going out. Yes. What's yeah. the problem? That you know what you don't want? Because do it's a, a negative. List? If you're not looking Good. at what's right I, about I, the I situation, if you're looking at what's right about yeah. the situation, it'll cover up the negative. You continue to look mm, what you don't like want, you're going to find mm. something wrong with someone every time you meet them. The let, me, let me throw, let me throw some. I, I, I uh, the the law of attraction is like yeah. that. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, 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 come I, I, on. I think that was my son. And I wonder why you don't have a date. If I'm sitting there eating, I block my fork. I don't want a man who can't eat, right? Nobody's going to say that. I'm just saying, how simple is that? You know, but I'm just saying. But if you start slurping the spaghetti, 
know, have some things. I, I've had a long time to date. Okay? <laughs> I've been dating a while. So dating, I'm not new to the dating mm -hmm. game. There are some things that I no longer mm. want from mm -hmm. a man. You know, mm -hmm. the, the quick fix, the, you know, make me feel better. I want you know the things that i know that i want that are important are the spirituality, spirituality. the confidence mm -hmm. you know and if you know uh, the willingness to be honest time. right okay right uh, so i don't want dishonesty you know <laughs> I, I don't want somebody who doesn't have a map of their life no yes. matter where they're going if if you don't have a map of your and life, right. then no, I, I don't, I don't want it. And I can what? say that at this right. point in my right. life. That seems to be I'm a common thread it. between all of y'all. You want someone who knows what they're doing, yes. who's moving on, who has a good future to them. Not necessarily financially, just in terms of their ambition. So I want to thank you all so much. Obviously, we do have issues of us men and women <laughs> here. <laughs> you can see it. So thank you all so much for being here and talking about it. <laughs> we'll be right back. Hi, I'm George Russell, Master Taylor of First Impression Custom Clothes. If you're paying more than $89.95 for your custom shirt, you're getting ripped off. Cut! If you're paying more than $89.95 for your custom shirt, why? George! If you're paying more than $89.95 for your custom shirt, that's just crazy. What? Dad, the club George members know how to say it. If you're paying more than $89.95, and chick chat that we just had to bring her back because she also had something else she wanted to tell us you tell us about i love you know i love websites i like yeah. search the web all as the much time. as you're a website geek i'm a tv geek people know that i'm a tv geek i was like born and bred red on uh, born and bred on television there's a guy that actually he's like 26 years old he's in his mm -hmm. house he has he's a like webcam. a hybrid of tv and, and internet yes he has a webcam in his house in his living room and it's uh the website is make me watch tv.com and basically, let's say you're a huge fan of 24, or you're a huge fan of Grey's Anatomy or something like that, or, you know, Survivor, Daily Show, Daily Show whatever it is, uh -huh. you tell him what to watch, and he'll watch it and make commentary while he's watching the show live on the webcam. Oh, really? Yeah, and it's like Come something, on. like, just silly, that he's just like, hey, I'm going to make myself famous. His name is, um, oh, I Why is that so popular, though? Why? Well, I don't... Uh oh wait. Okay, I think somebody's at our door. Yes, that, that somebody's gonna, come in. It's like what I got. Where's that noise I coming know, from? I know. Come in. <laughs> Sounds like church bells too. Come in. Come on in. Come in. Okay. Visitor. Oh, uh, woo! Wait a minute. <laughs> What's that? Is he lost? This isn't a house I'm supposed to be showing. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. You're supposed to be showing this house? Absolutely. Are you have keys to this house? Yes, ma'am. Okay, good. Come on in. You're cute enough <laughs> to show. show this house. This is our uh, Bachelor of the Week. Jared. And you're, you're, you're single, right? Yes, yeah. absolutely. Okay. 100%. 100% nice. single. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, we're so cheesy with our bachelors. As our bachelors are real estate agents. So, yeah, bum, nice. bum. Very nice. Jared, Jared, welcome. His name welcome. is Jared. Welcome so much here. I mean, Thank you. If nice you were to, to sell you. this house, it'd go oh, for $5, babe. $5? <laughs> Give me $5. But look, has a nice sprawling kitchen. <laughs> kitchen area, you know, we can do all that cooking over here, we have a nice counter space here, talk on the phone, chit chat, you know. Yeah, well, as a bachelor, well, first of all, we before we decide if we want him in the kitchen, mm -hmm. can you cook? I can cook. Oh, very I'm good. from New Orleans, so you know I can cook, okay. absolutely. And do you know the difference between um, Swiss chard, Swiss cheese, and fish? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I would hope so, Whitney. Wow, okay, so how long have you been in real estate for, Jared? I've been for? in real estate about three years. I've been practicing here in Houston for about six months. Oh, wow. Look out. Oh, uh, yeah, you moved here for grad school. He's got a grad degree. Oh, my God, smart. Uh, well, I don't have it yet. In about yeah. 30 days, I'll have my MBA from Texas Southern. So. Oh, that's great. Right. Wow. Okay. And, and <laughs> earlier, he commented on my shoes, so you, he knows the way to my heart. Yeah, I know. You, a guy that recognizes your shoes. You're all in Whitney's book. Yeah, you're in my book, mm -hmm. but you're a model also? I'm an actor as well as a model. I do uh, print modeling, so. Oh, that's cool. How long have you been doing that? Uh, I've been in the business about two and a half years. Anything exciting that you've done, Jared, you want to um, share with us? Yes, I uh, had a part in uh, Ray Charles' movie, but Ooh. they edited it out. Oh, no! Uh, you're <laughs> <a> <laughs> 
<laughs> but you know, that's all a part of being an actor. You know, right. you yeah. keep trying one day at a time. And I have a great agent now, so I'm looking forward to the future. But Jared, oh, I, we're live. I wish they could edit me out sometimes. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> right. This is out there in space. We can't get it back. Okay, we got. We, you're in the hot. You, you know, you can't come on our set without mm -hmm. being in the hot seat. Okay. Is that, right. Every bachelor goes in the hot seat. All right, I'm okay. ready. You're ready. Okay. Are you Absolutely. sure? Born ready. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm going to start with this question. Yeah. I'm going to give you a tough one right up top. Okay, Thelma and Louise or Brokeback Mountain? <laughs> Man, Thelma and Louise, come on. <laughs> All right, okay, okay, we like that. Now, would you rather have a uh, margarita from El Tiempo or Taco Malagro? Taco Malagro, Thursday nights. Mango margarita. Ooh, well, you girls know where to... Oh, wait, no, don't tell them that. You're mine. All right. Okay, um, yeah, right, he's the bachelor of the week. He's okay. matches your bachelor. In, yeah, no, he is mine. This is my... As Jackie Collins says, it's my personal dating service. So. All right, that's what right. I'm for. All right, I'm going to add... Uh, right now, mm -hmm. inside the loop or outside the loop? Inside the loop. Oh, okay. And is that one of the hotter real estate is right Absolutely. now? Absolutely. Homes are appreciating at a phenomenal rate. Really? Great opportunity there. Some free real estate factoids, my friend. <laughs> Uh, okay. Oh, does that mean yeah, that? Okay, is it my turn for the hot seat question? Uh, do you, would you rather have barbecue or Tex-Mex? I know you're a New Orleans boy. New but. Orleans barbecue. All barbecue. All, all right, all right. We like him. <laughs> all right, okay, now this is a good one. I always love it. Which desperate housewife would you want oh, to be? Yeah. You got Nic Nicolette Sheraton. She's blonde. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Terry Hatcher, brunette, and Ava Longoria. That's Which your Eva. Oh, Eva really? Longoria. So you don't but like I love blondes. blondes. I love blondes as well, but He Eva, loves all the women. Eva. I love everybody. Man. Equal opportunity to love all over here. I'm I sure. don't discriminate. I'll say that. <laughs> and are we gonna, yeah, no. But okay, and I love this one that, that Jackie Collins asked, and I'm using it from now on. But are you a lover or a player? Ooh, that's a man. That's a tough question. But that's um, a that's an easy question if you want girls to eat. I would you. definitely have to say, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm a little bit of both, but I'm a uh, you know a lover more than anything. All right. Well, we love, you have an email. We'll send you answers that way. Yeah. You're going to have to. By the way, now that requires poetry, mm -hmm. flowers, all sorts of bobbles. Crying by the beach. <laughs> Look at him. Like, oh, oh, nice. Alrighty. Does that count? Those who were already here. A rose by any other name would smell like Jared. All right. Oh boy. Okay. So. Jared, yeah, I am really cheesy. Um, Jared has an email. What's your email? My email address is Jared blah, 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 blah. Hey, you with me. That's Jared Lofton, Yahoo.com. That's J-R- E D L O F T O N one zero at yahoo.com. I didn't. Okay. I was trying to distract you so that you couldn't tell the lady. She really wants you to take her house hunting after the show, and she wants like the inside Absolutely. scoop and like no commission fees. I'm thinking about taking for. her ring hunting. Oh, yeah, really? Yeah. Wow! <laughs> Already? And then I'm taking you one on one. You're a basketball player. All right. <laughs> We're going to. Cool. We want to thank Jared for being here and letting us pick on him. He's so cute. Jared. Welcome to Houston, Jared. And congratulations on your NBA effort. Thank you. I appreciate it. It's great. All right, Jared. So when we're going out this weekend, I'm going to show you a couple of things that I may be interested in doing. Let's take a look at which weekend's pick. Teamwork. It's essential if you want to win. Each teammate depends on the other to perform his task well. And when that happens, everyone succeeds. The same principles of teamwork apply to your company's network. The client and infrastructure elements of your network must work together to achieve both maximum employee productivity and information security. This especially applies to your mobile workforce and wireless networking environment. To succeed, you need complete teamwork. HP and Cisco have formed a winning team. Together, HP and Cisco provide solutions that manage your company's data efficiently and more securely. Cisco, the world's largest networking manufacturer, is consistently recognized for industry-leading, fast and secure networking solutions. Any two girlfriends in this room been girlfriends with 
boy to his new girlfriend. When they walk away, his boy goes, oh man, she's nice. I gotta get me a girl like that. <laughs> if a woman introduces her new man to her girlfriend, when they walk away, her girlfriend goes, I gotta get him. <laughs> and I will slit that bitch's throat to do it. Summer, now they come to the authority for the best brands and value for back to school. See, now that's smart. The North Face Optimus. Lightweight, durable, and undeniably cool. Mom knows back to school means more time for mom. Nice footwork. Guaranteed best prices on top brands. Is that a $50 cash card? Smart play, mom. Who's the authority now? Sports authority, your back to school authority. It's only been a year, and already Autoblog calls the Hyundai Equus a set of leather-covered brass knuckles flying towards the jaws of Audi, BMW, and Mercedes-Benz. Ward's Auto World magazine said it has one of the 10 best engines of the year. So toast the Equus buyer for financial intelligence, declared the New York Times. Gee, it's all happening so fast. The Equus from Hyundai. Team, today in our toning authority training, our focus is New Balance, a performance brand and a no-brainer for running, like the 740. So naturally, a brand that's always on the cutting edge of innovation would develop the ultimate toning shoe, the True Balance 850. Every step you take activates your muscles and helps you burn calories. They tone your muscles from your legs to your glutes. And they look cool, too. <clears throat> exactly. Sports Authority. For a limited time, get a cash card good for a future purchase.